Hello, my name is Waleed Shaya, and I'm the artistic director and founder of Moonlit Wings Productions. And I am Gina Lee Nguyen, and I am co-founder and choreographer of Moonlit Wings Productions. Our mission is to make art fun, accessible, and, and universal. universal. So Moonlit Wings got started in the year 2008, summer of, when we decided to produce High, High School, School Musical. Musical. We had a cast of 14 kids, and we worked with a crew of four people. It was a lot of fun. It was the first time we got to work together, too. Oh, yeah, and it was a great experience. Within uh, two short weeks, we were able to stage, choreograph, and fully produce the musical, and then the end of the third week, tech it, and have a full weekend run of the show, which sold out at every performance, and was a huge success and a monumental part of these children's lives. After a success of High School Musical, we started Camp Drama in 2009. While Camp Drama is our in house camp. We also have a new camp called Broadway Biz. Biz. We do think it's important to have components of music and literature and script and dance and vocals all within um, one process. Moonlit Wings Productions is lucky to have our creative team be artists that work professionally within New York City and the DC theater scene. In just two weeks we produce a full Broadway stylized musical or a play that involves music. Um, it's very interesting to see the children come in on day one and to see our cast leave on the last day of the show. The process that they really go through is very transformative. They learn to step out of their shell. You get to express yourself in a way. I made lots and lots of friends. I have so many friends like from different years. I love making people laugh. It's a place where I can escape and just be myself. Everybody's really friendly at the camp. Waleed and Jenna Lee have structured the program in previous years. It's really allowed kids to develop over the two weeks. It really is a very intensive process of developing your mind as an artist and performer. And what we really, really hope for them to get by the end of the process is that teaching children to perform, teaching them to act, and putting them in front of an audience as a character teaches them to walk in someone else's shoes. I love theater because I find it a way to express yourself. You get to be yourself and you get to put everything you have into your character. That's one of my favorite parts is seeing, especially some of the quieter ones, like learn that they can project and be these characters and turn into something and really perform and just find something new within themselves. I'm constantly astounded by how well uh, they pick things up so quick, it's, it's great. There's been so many who start off like really kind of quiet and reserved and that's okay, you know, that's awesome. But then through this process, they like, they open up and they find that confidence. You, you can act different ways, but you're always yourself. Theater gives you confidence. If you know how to sing or you know how to act or you know how to dance, it really helps you show it off. They're really an inspiration. Like, you know, it's like they, working with them really does remind me of why, of why I do this. It's only the theater, yes, it's only the theater for me. Hey! You teach them a song or something, but then by the end of the two weeks, they're just singing it on their own. And you know, everywhere you go, children are singing and that's like one of the greatest rewards of this position. These folks include very talented artists from Tori Baracci, who works at Synetic Theater in Washington DC as an associate company member. Um, James Arden, who does film in the DC theater scene and is a recent graduate of Radford University. Samantha Figuera, who just finished a year-long engagement at the Lexington Theater for Children. Kelly Witherold, which just finished a show at the New York Musical Theater Festival. Andrew Scott Bell, who writes music for bands and has traveled internationally and worked overseas in England. Sydney Rosen, who's part of Encore Stage and Studio, DC's leading children's theater. The people that work with the kids are great. All of my coworkers are just fabulous. They all do theater. They all love theater. They're awesome. It's really amazing to work with people like them. It's an awesome opportunity to work with professionals, to work with people who are out in the District of Columbia and are doing things um, with other companies. It's a theater company. It brings in professionals from every area of theater and dance and film and every area of the arts. My favorite counselor would have to be Tori and James because they're really fun and creative and they do dances all the time and they're just really funny. Tori's really great with the kids and Sydney and James are great with like um, getting them to focus. It's a whole new learning experience for them and for you. Just and the counselors are super supportive. Even though you make a mistake, they say keep on going, you can do it. It doesn't like feel like a camp. It feels like you're really a performance and like um, an on-stage thing. And they don't like 
take anything that you do lightly. Like, yeah, we joke around and stuff, but then like, you know, focus, we have to work. It's a lot of responsibility on a wide age range of kids. But I think that that's also what makes it so special. So that's how we are able to have such concentration in singing, acting, dancing, is because we have a short period of time to produce a fully, in my opinion, professional children's theater piece. We start off first ice breaking, getting to know everybody. And one thing that I like to do at the very beginning is bring up this idea of how you don't have to worry about being embarrassed in here. We are a big family and we support each other. You can be yourself. Luckily we seem to have some really good kids and they seem to really be looking forward to putting the show on. Kids, it's, it's crazy, but you know, like when they get something right, it's like a lot of fun to see how happy they can be. I was thinking to myself, well, I'm sure they do it. it. It must only be like a, you know, 45 minute show, but that that's, you know, scary. Like that's, that's a lot to take on. My school would put on one act plays, which would be 45 minutes. And we would work on it for months and months and months to make sure it was good. But the way these kids just, you know, pick up the ball and start working so hard day one, I, I am really confident that this show is going to be amazing. If we're all in this together, it's like, go for it. So we do that, and I like to have auditions, and then from that we cast the show. First we started out with um, learning the dances and the songs. And we also try to balance it out with fun improv games. We do playwriting playhouse where they write their own scripts. Um, we have movie scenes, movie magic scripts, and we try to give them a taste of a little bit of everything in the field. We have technical theater activities, things like that, that all relate under the same umbrella. I like how we do our little skits because it's fun, and I like the movie magic. Is it true? Is what true? Is it true you go with Freddy? My fiance. We teach them about different film styles, from soap opera, dramas, sitcoms. Look, there must have been some mistake. The jig is up, Sam. Think of all those families you stole from. Not only the money and the jewels, but the priceless heirlooms and the pain you caused through your selfishness. So the kids, while they're rehearsing for a stage production, they also get to make their own films. So it's a really uh, different change of pace and um, medium for them. It's one thing, if you give their true age, but do a happy 100th birthday to a 49 year old is another. I thought Mrs. Arnold had a sense of humor and would take it lightly. Well, well now thanks to your little prank, we now know she's a little more sensitive about her age. When you're on stage, often uh, you're very theatrical. A lot of cheating out, of course projection. Uh, big gestures, there's uh, very subtle differences or different ways of performance on stage. While you're acting for film, you can be a lot quieter. All right, Samuel H. Johnson, AKA Sticky Finger Sam, we can make this easy or hard. But for your sake, let's make this easy. Are you threatening my client? Confess to the burglary, Sam. Starting in 2011, we began a new show that happens in the winter that's separate from our summer season called Snowy Day Cabaret. It features some Broadway favorites and also it includes holiday tunes that are familiar to many, many folks. This show was really special to us because it was another free production that we did with a cast of um, youth and community members that toured all over the greater DC area to places like nursing homes, mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. Life with Cancer, the Right to Read program in Alexandria. Within Moonlit Wings Productions, we strive to reach out to the community, not just on stage, but through animal food drives, clothing drives, and school supplies. In honor of our five years this year, Moonlit Wings is presenting the International Youth Day Red Carpet Picnic at our headquarters at Providence Rec Center. International Youth Day was started in 1999 by the United Nations, and in honor of that, Moonlit Wings has decided to have a special event here in Northern Virginia in the greater DC area to honor theater in our community and to honor those future leaders. This season includes four shows happening at Camp Drama and three shows happening at Broadway Biz this summer. The Camp Drama shows begin with Breer Rabbit's Trilogy by John Byrne. It follows the classic tale of the Breer Rabbit with his fellow furry friends amongst the forest and the troubles that they encounter.
That was a really exciting production for us to do, especially as we did the first national area premiere of Brew Rabbit's trilogy. The second production of the camp drama season was nothing other than our original Shakespeare camp musical, As You Like It. We took the traditional As You Like It script and Tess Higgins, our aspiring artist this summer, uh, modernized the entire script to be suitable for children ages 7 to 14. The third show of the season is Aesop and George by Claudia Haas. It is also a national premiere here in the greater DC area. Our last show of Camp Drama is Moonlit Musical. It is our original company show written by myself and Andrew Bell that will be fully mounted at Camp Drama to end our season. At Broadway Biz, our season includes three fantastic shows. The first one is a brand new workshop performance of a show called The Grunch by Denver Cascado and Benita Hershey of New York City's Beat by Beat Press. The second show at Broadway Biz this summer is Moonlit Musical. Moonlit Musical is our original company show. It's going to workshop at Broadway Biz in hopes that we can enhance the script even further and produce it as our closing show at Camp Drama. Our last show at Broadway Biz this summer is a brand new show by Joshua Michael. He's a playwright for Play Script Inc. in New York City with many shows published at that company. And his new show to be workshopped with us this summer is The Magic Paintbrush. <laughs> 